Hey guys, Sushi Stew back on with the next tutorial how to install Marketplace on your Rooted Playbook. And today we got a special treat, a new version of Dingleberry. So I'm going to do the full tutorial how to access Root and uh, install Marketplace. The long way, I guess. I got to redo the uh, PPK file the uh, public key. So to start off you need the new Dingleberry, BBH tool, you need putty gen, and win SCP. You'll need to download Cyanogen mod and I'll have all the links for you. You'll need a launcher. I have launcher.bar here but I'll give you ADW launcher. So to start we're going to dingle our playbook. So you need to be in development mode in the security screen. You can see I'm on development mode. Turned on there's my development address. It matches the one in Dingleberry. Password matches. Password on PC. I'm going to dingle the SSH. Waiting for the hash symbol to say that we have root access. There it is. Now we can go into putty gen and we're going to load a key. So go to where Dingleberry file is that you downloaded. There it is, Dingleberry. We're not using a PP key that's already made. We're gonna go select all files. I'm going to select the RSA file, not the .pub file, RSA file. Open that. There we have the key. Now we can save private key. Yes. And this is where we're going to save it. Easy name, playbook, done. So that's saved. You can close that when it's finished. Now we can use WinSCP to access the root of our playbook. So you input the development mode address, username dev user. We're going to add that key that we just created. There it is, right where we saved it in the Dingleberry. So open that. We're going to change this to SCP. Go in here. Unclick look up users. I'll have this file in the as a link as well. That one we paste in here and we log in. If you followed all the steps right, you will log in. Each new version of Dingleberry 
you need to redo the key so that Dingleberry accepts it. The Win SCP will authenticate it. As you can see, it's working. Starting my session, it'll pop up and we'll be in the root access. It is running a little slow since I'm recording this. And you see I still have Dingleberry open. I'm just waiting for WinSCP. BBH tool is there and ready. While we're waiting for WinSCP, we can start BBH tool. You can see the development mode address, password again. There's WinSCP. I'm going to drop that down. We'll finish here. So, development mode address, your password. You can drag and drop the bar file or add file. This is where we're installing the launcher bar or ADW launcher. So you need to go to where you saved it. There's ADW, open, check mark, and then hit install. You gotta make sure your playbook is on development mode, as I said before. I'm not going to install mine, I already have it. I don't feel like overwriting anything. Once it's finished, you'll get the window that says it's successfully installed. You can close BBH, go to your playbook, and launch the ADW launcher. So you start it up, leave it running, now we're going to go into WinSCP and install the marketplace. So we're at dev user. We want to go back to the root of the playbook. You click on the forward slash or you can change by up here. And over in this one we want to get ready where we saved the cyanogen mod. As I said, my computer is being slow recording this as well. So there we are, Cyanogen Mod. So once you've unzipped it, you have a folder with system and meta inf. We're going to take this system folder and you can see once we select it we have tools here we can use and at the root we have a system folder here you want to create, select copy copy the file over to root, yes that's where you want it, hit copy mine's already there and moved so I'm not going to do it once it's finished open up system go to app you want to find there we go, we want to go into apps from the root, go to apps I want to find Android, Sys Android right here. Go into native, then scripts. And you see you have here start Android core. We're not copying that. 
close that. Don't need to open it. You want to right click, custom command, execute. So make sure it's running. And once you have that one, then you can do the same for this one. Custom command, execute. Now, inside system app, where we were before, you will have a file called, um, oh shoot, I'll pull it up, I'll show you, uh, setup wizard, that's it, in your root folder over here, you want to take that folder and delete it. You want to delete setup wizard that you transferred into this folder. And as I said in apps, you find the sys android, go to native, scripts, you have start android core, you want to execute that command and execute kill Android core. Once you've done that, you can exit WinSCP, terminate the session, you can close Dingleberry and everything, restart your playbook, launch the launcher, And you should have an icon on your Android launcher marketplace. When you first load it up, you will have to start or add an account. So if you don't have an account already made, make one online on your PC. Much easier. A Google account is really easy. Most people have one. That's what I used. So there you guys go marketplace on the playbook. Thanks for watching. Peace out.